Oh dear. Yeah, it's not the camera, mate. It's not the camera, the frame on the camera making all those flash. They are actually all flashing. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, so we've got slight problems with our fast track. Uh, yeah, we've got, um, oh, I've got a load of panels out looking for possibly a broken wire on the loom, something like that. Um, yeah, I've checked all the obvious. Um, fuses, alternator, earths, um, and it's, it's got worse. Oh yeah, it's um, slowly turning. It was that none of the warning lights were flashing. It was just the dash was just doing a bit of a spaz, but um, while I've been fiddling, it's got considerably <laughs> worse. But everything still works. You know, sort of indicators still work. Just the dash is having a spaz, so yeah. Deep joy, deep joy. I mean, honestly. Strip, been stripping all that out, checking all the relays, fuses, all that sort of malarkey. And literally, as you can see, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to now. All I did is pull the dash out and that cured it. Now, I wonder, you can't really see in there, can you? I shouldn't think very well. Now, there is an exposed. Well, I'm not sure what it is to be honest, but oh, well, you, can you see, yeah, let me look on the camera here. You can just about see where my finger is. It comes out of that sheathing, and it's bare metal. It's a just a cable. It hasn't got a um, it's insulation on it for some reason. Don't ask me why. But it looks like it ought to be like that. Anyway, I was wondering whether that was just touching on this back in here and sort of earthing out a bit or something. I don't know. I'm not an uh, electronics expert. But I've tucked that down out of the V, pushed that back down, and lo and behold, that's just behaving itself far up. I've had everything out. Happy days. That is a bit of stroke of luck, that is. Everything's behaving itself. Everything's working. Expecting a broken wire or something in the loo. Um, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> That's, uh, I'm happy with that. Um, just wish I hadn't destroyed the cab in the process. Got to put it all back together now. She has got another problem developed as well now, um, which is probably even more of a pain to be fair. Um, she's got a problem with the spool valves. I've got all three spools. It's had a um, a problem ever since I bought it. Uh, although everything's worked like, and it's still well now because I've been fiddling with it, it's coming up with some more errors. Lot, um, but it was coming up with XO69, which is the brown spool, but it still worked. But now, if you hear, all the spools are the same at the minute. Well, right, I'm going to just pull the green one back a bit. Pull it back, and then when I've got a trailer on the back, tipping trailer or whatever, it'll basically barely move. And um, you won't go into it, it, you'll let go of it, it'll just keep pumping for a little bit, then it'll stop. Like, you know, you know, the 
uh, hydraulic pump kicks itself out a lot because it's not pumping anywhere. Um, although saying that, just like that's working now. <laughs> what is going on? Just for a fob camera up and just, you know, as I was initially talking, it was still doing it, but like you pull the spool on and let go of it, but it would still keep pumping. But now, going into flow, green's working. What the hell's going on? So the spools have started working again. <laughs> oh dear, you've <laughs> got a lot of fast tracks, haven't you? you really have. So, spools have fixed themselves without me doing anything to them. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good old fast track, eh? Um, <coughs> yeah, because you sort of need it. Uh, next week or depending on whenever this comes out but as I'm recording it next week um, we've got about a ring to empty out the <coughs> one of the slow tanks because uh, we can't spread after we can't put it on the fields after the first of October so we've got next week for, to do that and this will do that obviously um, well it wouldn't have done because you need a spool to operate the valve on the back of the tanker but It's working now, so whether somehow it is related to that, um, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not, because it, like I said, it was still playing up, but that's working now. God knows. God knows. Um, next thing, she'll catch on fire. I'm sorry, well, I shouldn't say that really, should I? Um, it's, it's a few, a couple I know of that have gone up recently. Wes, 190 Farmeries, uh, 6430 has gone up. Shit luck, um, Wes, but it, it does happen, doesn't it, like, you know? And um, Jonathan Tumbles, um, his Feds Island 524. Um, a lot, possibly a lot of you overseas won't know who that is, but um, uh, he's very well known, um, classic machinery enthusiast in this country, like, and he's got a hell of a fleet of. Um, you know, modern plastics like and his 524 Zylon, um, which there aren't many of anyway, especially in this country, totally burnt out. So, um, my heart goes out to you, Jonathan, like, because um, stuff like we've just had there, it's easy to happen, isn't it? Like, you know, who's to say that without all doing a, having, a, having a right old spaz, um, it didn't set itself on fire you never you just don't know the electrics do you so anyway bit of a quick video not a lot to it but um <laughs> touch wood she seems to be working again ta-ta